Hello, you're welcome to IDC Learning Center YouTube channel with Mr. Marco Kafo. For today's video, we'll be looking at why GC Mathematics is a compilation of past questions on why GC Mathematics. So for those of you preparing for 2025-2026, why GC, this video is for you. Let's go straight to the first question. Question number one. Solve. 1 plus cube root x minus 3 equals a 4. Follow through these past questions will definitely help you to ease your question paper as you take your exam. The first thing we need to do for a question like this is to collect like terms. So we are going to move this 1 to the right to meet 4. So as 1 crosses equal to sign, it changes to minus 1. So only this remains here at the left hand side so we have cube root x minus 3 okay let me use the white pen okay so i'm going to take this again move this to the right so we have cube root x minus 3 equal to 4 Plus 1 crossing the equal to sign changes to minus 1. Alright, so we have cube root x minus 3 equal to 4 minus 1, 3. The next thing, we need to get rid of the cube root at this left hand side. Because we are solving to get the value of x. To do that, we take the cube of the left hand side and the right hand side. Let me write this properly, equal to 3. We take the cube root of this, the cube of this, since cube breaks cube root. By math, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So taking the cube of what we have at the left hand side, we must also to take the cube, cube of what we have at the right hand side. So this cube breaks this cube root. We have x minus 3 equal to cube root of 3. This means 3 times 3 times 3. So the exponent tells you how many times you need to multiply a number by itself. So x minus 3 equal to 27. Alright, here let me bring what I have here up. x minus 3 equal to 27. Collect like terms, move minus 3 to the right hand side is going to give you x equal to 27 plus 3. x equal to 30. This is the right answer. And the right option is A. So whenever you come across a question like this, this is what you are supposed to do. Question number two says, the angle of a sector of a circle of radius 3.4 centimeter is 115 degrees. Find the area of the sector. Take pi as 22 over 7. All right, the formula for calculating area of a sector is theta over 360 times the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. Theta is the angle which has been given here as 115 degrees. So area is equal to 115 degrees out of 360 times pi, which is 22 over 7 according to the question. Take pi as this times the radius in the question the radius is 3.4 so we have 3.4 times 3.4 i want you to be involved in what we are doing now i want you to get your calculator um to get the area let's multiply the numerator that's 115 um times 22 times 3.4 times 3.4 3 if you do what the numerator will be 29 Two nine two four six. That's twenty nine thousand two hundred forty six point eight. Now divide this by the product of the um, denominator. That's thirty six times seven. Okay. If you punch that into your calculator, thirty six times seven, we give you two thousand five hundred and twenty. Alright, the area. Now twenty nine thousand. 246.8 divided by 2520. 
that will give you 11.6 approximately centimeters square. So your right answer is option A. So I don't want you to forget this formula. Is that okay? Let's move to the next question. Question number three. This question says, there are 30 students in a class. 15 study, study woodwork and 13 study metal work. 6 study neither of the two subjects. How many students study woodwork but not metal work? So let's use Venn diagram for this. We have the Venn diagram. All right, now 30 students, the inverse set equal to 30 students are in the class. Let me make this bigger. Okay, let me bring it to the left. All right, so here we have the Venn diagram. Inverse set, we have 30 students in the class. Okay, now let this represent those that studied woodwork let this be woodwork now let this be mw metal okay so let me draw the okay let this represent metal work mw okay so we have this now according to the question 15 study woodwork and 13 study metal work among these students that study woodwork some we see study woodwork and metal work, so let them be X. Like the student that studied only, because here I did not say 15 students studied only woodwork. Seeing the only is not there, that means some will definitely study metal work as well. So those that studied only woodwork will be 15 that studied woodwork, everything woodwork minus X. Because X is the number that studied both woodwork and mental work. And those that studied only the mental work, mental work will be 13 minus those that studied both, which is X. This question says six studied neither of them. So the six will just be inside the inverser set, but not in the uh, subset for woodwork or mental work. How many students study woodwork but not mental work? Now, those that studied um every everything okay let's start with the woodwork we have as 15 minus x plus those that studied both x those that studied only mental work 13 minus x and then those that studied neither of the two which is six everything will give me the total number of students in the class which is 13. let's add up 15 plus 13 is 28 28 plus 6, it will give you 34. So we have 15 plus 13 plus 6 equal to 34. Minus x plus x will give you 0. But we have another minus x here equal to 30. Collect like terms. Bring 30 here, move minus x there. Bring 30 here, we have 34 minus 30. Move x the other way. It's the negative sign will go, it becomes x. That's the idea. So x equal to 34 minus 30 is 4. What are we looking for? Those that studied only, this x is those that studied both of them, woodwork and metal work. Don't forget, only woodwork from this side here will be 15 minus x. We know that x is 4. So 15 minus 4 is equal to what? 11. The right option is b. All right, let's take a look at question four. Mr. Manu is four times as old as his son, Adu. Seven years ago, the sum of their ages was 76. How old is Adu? Algebra. Mr. Manu is four times as old as his son. We don't know the age of Mr. Manu. Neither do we know the age of Adu. We know that Mr. Manu, the father, is four times as old as his son. So let's have Mr. Manu, and then let's have his son, Adu. So if Adu is A years old, Mr. Manu will be four times A years old, since the question says he's four times as old as the son. So he will be four A years old. Seven years ago, Mr. Manu M.M. 
will be seven years ago will be four a minus seven because we are talking about pass. So why I do the son who is eight years old will be a minus seven. So the question says seven years ago the sum of their ages was seventy six. So four a minus seven plus the sum of their ages a minus seven equal to seventy six. How old is Adu? So we are solving for A. 4A plus A will give me 5A. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. Minus 7 plus minus 7. Minus 7 minus 7 will give you minus 14 equal to 76. So I'm going to bring that information up. 5A minus 14 equal to 76. Move minus 14 to the right hand side, it will change to plus. So we have 5a equal to 76 plus 14. That's minus 14 going to the right hand side. 4 plus 6 is 10, 0. Put 1 here. 7, 8, 9, that's 90. 5a equal to 90. To get Adu's age, you divide both sides by 5. 5 year 1, 5 year 1. 5 year 1, 5 into 9 is once remainder 4, 5 into 48. So Abdul A is 18 years old and the correct option is C. All right, question number five. The angle of elevation of the top of a building from a point Z on the ground is 50 degrees. If the height of the building is 124 meters, Find the distance from Z to the foot of the building. Okay. Um, the angle of, of the top of a building from, let this be the point Z on the ground. From this point to the top of the roof is 50 degrees. Okay. Take note of that, 50 degrees. If the height of the building, let this be the height of the building. Now, from this point, we move to the top. The height of the building is 124 meters. Now, find the distance from Z. Okay, this is Z to the foot of the building, and this is the foot of the building, so we have this. So, we are looking for this. Let it be X. So, we have to use trigonometry ratio to get our answer. Remember the concept of so, car, tour. The side, the longer side of a triangle is the hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse. The side facing the angle is the opposite. This is the opposite. While the other side, this is the adjacent. So we are going to use TOA because we have the opposite and adjacent together there. So tan degree is 50 degrees equal to opposite, which is 1, 2, 4. Divide by x, we give you the distance you are looking for. So over 1 cross multiply. X, x times tan 50 we give you x. Okay, now the next question what will tan 50 be? Okay, x, okay, tan 50 we give us 1.192. Approximately equal to 124 times 1, 124. To get, to get the value of x, which is the denominator, we divide both sides by 1.192 and divide 1 to 4 by 1.192. So this cancels this. So the distance represented by x will be um, equal to 124 divided by 1.192. To give us 104.0268. So this is approximately 104.0. Run this up to 1, add it to, to 2. Okay, but approximately we are going to have option B as an answer. So you can just vet that in your calculator. You know why I'm getting this figure? No, I approximated this, this. So that's why he gave me this. All right. So the right answer would be option B. Question number six. 
This question says, one third of the sum of two numbers is 12. Twice their difference is 12. Find the numbers. All right, let the two numbers be X and Y. So one third, which is one over three, one over three, one third of the sum of these two numbers is 12. Okay, now, before we take the next sentence, twice the difference, let's just simplify this a bit. So if one third of this is 12, let it be over 1, let's cross multiply. That simply means x plus y equal to 3 times 12, 36. This form equation 1. The question continued. Twice their difference. The difference is x minus y. Twice the difference means you have to multiply both sides by 2. Twice the their difference is equal to 12. Okay? So this will form question equation 2. But I can see break this down. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times y is 2y. Let this be equal to 12. And this forms equation 2. So we have equation 1, we have equation 2. From equation 1, since we have two variables standing on their own, from equation 1, make as the subject of the formula, we have x equal to move y to the right hand side. We have 36 minus y. We we'll now go to equation 2. This is equation 2, where you have x replace it with 36 minus y. So we have 2, this 2 bracket this x becomes this 36 minus y close bracket now minus 2y equal to 12 so we can solve for x now 2 times 36 will give me 72 let me come up here 72 minus 2 times y 2y i've broken the bracket minus this 2y here minus 2y equal to 12. Okay, so 72 minus 2y minus 2y will give me minus 4y equal to 12. Collect like terms. Move minus 4 to y to the right hand side and 12 to the left hand side. So we have 72 minus 12 equal to 4 minus 4y crossing the equal to sign we change to 4y the minus we go. So 4y is equal to 72 minus 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0, 7 minus 6, that's 60. To get the value of y, you divide both sides by 4. 4 year 1, 4 year 1. 4 year 1, 4 into 60, 1 remainder 2, 4 into 25, that's 15. The value of y is 15. Now, let this be equation 3. I can solve for, I can solve for x here. x equal to 36 minus y, y is 15. 6 minus 5, 1, 3 minus 1, 2. So my answer is x, 21, and y, 15. So if I'm too fast, kindly um, take the video back and just ensure you follow uh, all my steps. And you can also drop your comment in the comment section for me to see and render more assistance if need be. Let's look at question 7. All right, so for question seven, in the, uh, in the diagram above, M and R are points on the circle. Center O, angle ORN is equal to 48 degrees and angle RNM is equal to 124 degrees. Find angle OMN. To solve this question, I want you to remember that angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So this angle here, let me change my pen so you can see it. This angle here is twice this angle at the circumference. So the angle at the circumference is one to four. The angle here will be one to four times two, twice. Two times four, eight, two times two, four, two times one, two. So this is two, four, eight degrees. Now, we need to find M-O-R, which is this angle. 
So this is angle on a point. To get that, we have to do 360 minus 248. Okay? Now, that we give us. Pick one from here. 5, 10 minus 8, 2. 5 minus 4, 1. 3 minus 2, 1. This angle is 112 degrees. What are we looking for? Find angle O. This is O. M N. So you're looking for this. So this is a quadrilateral, which is equal to 360 degrees. So one, two, four. This one, two, four degrees plus 48 degrees plus one, one, two degrees plus the angle you are looking for O M N. Let me represent it with X is equal to 360 degrees because the shape here, it has four angles. and That means it's a quadrilateral. Is a quadril quadrilaterals have four sides, four angles. So let's sum one, two, four, one, one, two, and forty-eight together. So this is fourteen. Four put one here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's two, eight, four. So two, eight, four degrees plus x equal to three sixty degrees. To get the value of angle zero m n represented by x. We move this to the right hand side, which we change to negative. So we have to do 360 minus 284. Pick one from 6, 6 reduces to 5. Put the one here, 10. 10 minus 4, 6. Borrow one from this, 2. Put it here, 15 minus 8, 7. So 76 degrees, that's our answer. And the right answer is option D. Please don't forget to share this video so other students like you can learn from this. All right, question number eight. Sim simplify 3 root 12 plus 10 root 3 minus 6 root 3 as a denominator. All right, if you look at this, I can get a perfect square from this. So this is same as 3 root 4 times 3. Okay, 4 times 3 will give me this 12. Then we have plus 10 root 3 and then we have minus 6 root 3 okay now this this is same as 3 root 4 root 3 the root affects both plus 10 root 3 minus 6 root 3 3. 3 times root 4 is 2 root 3 plus 10 root 3 minus 6 root 3. 3 times 2 is 6 root 3 plus 10 root 3 minus 6 root 3. Okay, so 6 plus 10 is 16. So we have 16. Root 3. Root 3 is 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. So times 3 minus 6. That's this. 6 over root 3. 16 times 3. We give us 48. So we have 48 over 1 minus 6 root 3. So we treat this as a fraction. Treating as a fraction, LCM of the denominators 1 and root 3 will give me root 3. So we divide and multiply. Root 3 times 1 is root 3. Then root 3 times 48. We have um, 48 root 3 minus root 3. Divide and multiply. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. 3 times 6 18. So, we have to check for what is, in, what is common here. I can remove 6 from both of them. Alright, if I remove 6 from 48, 6 times 8 is 48. So, I have 6 brackets. All done. We have to go back a bit. Sorry about this. 
I just realized I treated the plus as times here. Sorry, we have to come back to this point. Please don't be confused. I was a little bit in a hurry. I treated this plus as times. This is plus. So this is actually meant to be 6 root 3 plus 10 root 3 will give me 16. 16 root 3. I treated this as... um. I treated this plus as time. Sorry for the error. So that's 16 root 3 minus 6 root 3. This is meant to be. Okay? Because this is addition. Just like saying 6 books plus 10 books. That would be... That would be um, 16 books. So I can now treat both as fractions. Sorry about that. I just um, observed that. LCM of 1 and root 3 is root 3. Now divide both sides by root 3. So 1 divided by root 3 is root 3. Root 3 times multiply this by root 3. So this root 3. Root 3, what I said earlier, root 3 times um, root 3 will give us 3. So we just have 16 times 3 minus you divide and multiply. Root 3 divided by root 3. Is one one times six six, so three times sixteen is um forty eight minus six root three. Forty eight minus six will give us forty two root three. Now you want to say this is the answer? This um cannot be the answer. We need to rationalize. We cannot have uh, root three as a denominator. To rationalize means we simply multiply the numerator. And the denominator by this denominator, which is root 3. Okay, so if we do root 3 times 3, we give us 3. Then we have 42 root 3. 42 can be divided by 3. 42 divided by 3 is 14 root 3. Okay, that's the final answer. And our right option is C. All right, let's take question number nine. This question says, for what value of x is x squared plus 2 divided by 10x squared minus 13x minus 3 is undefined? Okay. To solve this, we need to factorize the denominator, which is a quadratic equation. We have 10x squared minus 13x minus 3. Hold on. Minus 3 equal to 0. Multiply the first and the last term. Minus 3 times 10. Give me minus 13x squared. Let's pick out the factors of minus 30x squared. That will give me this. So let's try minus 15x plus 2x. Alright, so... 15 times, minus 15 times 2 will give you minus 30, x times x is x squared. So this will give me this, okay? And minus 15, x plus 2, x will give me minus 13, x. So we take this and replace the middle term, which is minus 13, x. So 10, x squared, minus 15, x, plus 2, x, minus 3, equal to 0. Minus 15 plus 2, x, you know what it will give me. So it will give me minus 13x. So the next thing we need to do is to group. We group this and we group this. So I can remove 5x from both of them. If I remove 5x from this, I'm going to be left with um, 2x. So that 5x times 2x is 10x squared. If I remove 5x from 15x, I'll be left with 3. I need to remove plus 1 from the second bracket. I'll also have 2x minus 3 equal to 0. Since what I have here and here are the same pick one, 2x minus 3, put 15, 5x and plus 1 in a new bracket, 5x plus 1 equal to 0. Solve for x for the first bracket, so 2x minus 3 equal to 0, 2x move 3 the other way equal to 3 to get the value of x, divide both sides by 2, 
2 year 1, 2 year 1, x is 3 over 2. For the second bracket, 5x plus 1 equal to 0, move 1 to the right, 5x equal to minus 1, divide both sides by 5. So 5 year 1, 5 year 1, x is equal to minus 1 over 5. So we have 3 over 2 and minus 1 over 5. We can still write minus 1 over 5 first. 3 over 2, it's the same thing. So we go to the options. The right option is B, minus 1 over 5 and 3 over 2. The last question for today, express 413 base 7 to base 5. To solve this, the first thing we need to do is to convert base 7 to base 10. Then we now convert from base 10 to base 5. So 0, 1, 2. We have to convert to base 10, 4 times 7, base 7 raised to the power this 2, plus 1 times 7 raised to the power 1, plus 3 times 7 raised to the power 0. So this, this will give me 4 times 7 squared is um, 7 times 7, plus 1 times 1 is 7, plus 3 times anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So 4 times 7 times 7, 49, plus 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 times 1, 10. So 49 times 4. 4 times 9 is 36, 6 carry 3. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3, 19, 1, 9, 6, plus 10. So to give me 6, 0, 2. Okay, I've changed to be 10 which is 2, 0, 6. Now we change from base 10 to base 5. Divide 2, 0, 6 by 5. This is base 10. All right, divide this by 5 to change to base 5. 5 into 20, we give me, into 2, 0, 6 is 41. Remainder 1. 5 into 41. 8 remainder 1, 5 into 8, 1 remainder 3, 5 cannot go into, into 1, so 0 remainder 1. From down count up upward, her answer will be 1, 3, 1, 1, base 5. So the right option is C. Thank you very much for staying with me. I hope you appreciate these questions and the solution I've provided for you. I'm not going to stop here. I have loads of other likely questions coming your way. Stay with me, share my videos, and you're free to make a request as well. But I'm going to stop here and I'm saying bye.